this has been about three years ago. There was a lady, she kind of smiled, and I saw I smiled and went over and I talked to her. She's not even Catholic, but she, she goes to one of the Baptist church here in uh, Sugar Land, and she said, but when she wants to feel close to God, she comes to St. Teresa's. You walk in here and you're in a Catholic church. You walk in and you see the crucifix and the tabernacle. You feel the arms, you feel his arms around you. I feel like being here and through spiritual direction here and just availability of the sacraments, I've been able to create an interior life that kind of tells me that there's really nothing that's going to keep me from, uh, from, from worshiping God in the sacraments and from knowing that I need the sacraments, I need the Eucharist, you know, I, I need to have the sacrament of confession available to me to be able to live. Getting to know spiritually my relationship with Christ, my relationship with the church, my relationship with my family. It starts with faith in the Eucharist. Being a you know, Catholic from birth, I believed in the Eucharist. But the, the focus on the Eucharist was, was lost. One of the greatest things we ever did here is when we instituted perpetual adoration. You, want, you talk about change. That I saw. Because that Eucharist is the body and blood, soul and divinity of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To sit there and contemplate, you know, the, the mystery of transubstantiation, of bread and wine becoming the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And those that get it will never ever, regardless of what happens, will never ever leave the church.